are keeping an eye on your money tonight after the Federal Reserve made its first interest rate cut since March of 2020. Something a lot of people were looking forward to perhaps. The Fed cut the benchmark rate by half a point, moving it from its 23 year high of five and a quarter percent down to four and three quarters. The move comes after inflation dropped from 9.1% in 2022 to just two and a half percent. Now the question is, will the rate cut have an effect on Utahns and the housing market here. Chrissy McPeak spoke with an economic expert today to answer that question. She joins us live tonight in Davis County with a deeper look. Yes, I'm in a Davis County neighborhood where the median price is around $500,000, just over that. And so I spoke with an economist at Weber State University, and he says that yes, these interest rates may make an impact on housing, but there's a lot more that comes into play. Overall, is this a big cut? Not really. But it's a step. According to Dr. Andrew Kinsley with Weber State University, interest rates lowering half a percentage point today is the start of lower interest rates long term. So based on that, it looks like we're probably going to see another half point worth of cuts coming soon. So when it comes to refinancing, do you think people might wait a little longer knowing that there could be more rate cuts? You're probably going to see households waiting until that point, you know, staying with this current interest rate, wait till that happens. When they've bottomed out, that's when you you jump on that. How will this affect the housing market? It's interesting because there's a lot of people out there who at the current prices, a lower interest rate sounds really good. Like suddenly they can afford that. But those people on that margin, when they come into the market and start looking for those houses, that increase in housing demand is going to start to push that price up. It sounds like there's a lot more to factor into housing than just interest rates. It sounds a lot of supply and demand. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, just like everything in economics, it's, it boils down to supply and demand. And this won't just affect interest rates in housing. It will also affect those rates in things like credit cards and auto loans. Live in Davis County, Krista McPeak, KUTV 2 News.